literally pitch black outside and it is six o'clock. So, but I decided to sit in front of the tree because I feel like that is normally where people do their what I got for Christmas videos. This is actually my first what I got for Christmas video. This isn't the first one I've ever filmed, but this is the first one I'll ever be posting. And I just used to film them and just keep them to myself and I have them now as memories, which is kind of fun. But since I guess they're coming back or they're more popular now, I don't really know, but I thought I would do one and share with you guys what I got for Christmas this year. I am super grateful for everything I got for Christmas. It was so much fun and such a great Christmas to spend time with my family. I actually went up to Illinois to see all of my family up there, which I haven't gotten to see all of my cousins together in one place for a couple of years, so getting to see all of them um, was really exciting and then we came back and I did a late Christmas with um, my other family so I'm just super grateful for not only all of the gifts that I received but just the holiday season in general so anyway yeah let's go ahead and dive on into this haul I guess I'll start with the like hair dryer and curling thing that I'm this is kind of like a I guess a Dyson like knockoff this is by the brand in glam and my parents got this for me and I actually sent it to my mom on Amazon so I believe that's where she got it from but I was so excited because I don't have any of my curling wands I have no idea where they disappeared to I had like a whole kit of them. I don't have a hair dryer either because I saw the Dyson and I was like, that's so cool, except for the price tag. So I wasn't, didn't want to spend that or ask anybody to buy me that. So when I got this, I was super excited, but this is what it looks like. They have two different ones. I think they have a dark blue one and they have a gray one. And I think they might actually have one other color, but I got the gray one. This is what it looks like. So it comes without any of the attachments on top. Sorry if my hair is like all over this. This is the on off button. These are the settings. So it's cold and then like medium heat and high heat. So you just press this top button to switch between them. And then this bottom button, it actually has three settings for how like, like a regular hair dryer, how intense you want it to blow at you basically. But there's four attachments that come with it. The regular hair dryer attachment. I, this one's covered in hair. So as you can see, it's well loved. This kind of straightens your hair and gives you kind of like a salon style like blowout for your hair. And this was the barrel that I used to curl my hair. It only comes with one barrel and I didn't check the website on whether or not it comes with like smaller attachments. I definitely want to look into that, but I think it did a pretty good job. And then again, my hair is literally everywhere. And then this is just their hairbrush attachment. That took like five minutes to explain one of my gifts. Just wanted to give you all the details. <laughs> okay, moving on. I got these sunglasses from my brother and I actually really like them. I, I never really looked at this style before. My first thought when I put these on was that like Top Gun, I think it's Goose that wears glasses like these all the time. That was my first thought. And then everybody else's first thought was hippie. So, I mean, I guess it could go either way, but I really like these. I will link as many as these things as I can in the description box down below. They were gifts, so I don't know if I'll be able to find all of them, but I think I, sh I should be able to. Okay, next I got a set of books. These are by Colleen Hoover. She is seriously one of my favorite authors. I have been obsessed with her books recently. I got two books. This is It Ends With Us and then Ugly Love. Very, very excited for these and we'll definitely be reading them soon. So if you're interested in that, go follow me on Instagram because that's probably where I'll do like little reviews and stuff like that on my stories. So I got some new shoes and I've actually been wanting these shoes for such a long time, but, but I was so excited when I got them for Christmas. These are just white slip-on Vans and I tried them on 
and saw them and I was like, this could go with so many outfits. They're super easy to just throw on. So I was very excited to get these. Next, I got this puzzle. I'm actually obsessed with puzzles. I love doing them. It's one of those things that is a great pastime, especially when it's super cold outside and there's like nothing to do. I got, it's a thousand piece puzzle, but look how freaking beautiful this puzzle is. Like, I just want to frame it when it's done because I just think this is so colorful and pretty. So I'm very excited to do this puzzle, although it's probably going to be super hard because all the puzzle pieces look the same. I got a few gift cards from like my aunts and uncles. So with some of those gift cards and cash and stuff like that, I did go to Ulta. Every year, the day after Christmas, my mom and I go on like a little shopping trip, which sounds weird. You would think we wouldn't want to shop anymore. It just became one of those things where we had like mommy daughter time and we just went to the malls and went shopping around and had lunch and stuff and spent our gift card. So, and one of the places we went to was Ulta and I got a couple of things. This is a lip balm. This is 101 Ointment Multi Balm. This is from the brand Lano Lips. I'm not sure. This is in the scent strawberry. Scent? I don't know. It's 100% natural and has 101 uses. I was dying in Illinois with no lip balm. Everything was dry. My skin was dry. My lips were dry. And I'm like, I just need a really good lip balm. And I've been on the hunt for a really good lip balm that works and lasts. So this one looked really nice. So I just picked that up super fast. And then I also picked up this because I've been obsessed with lip glosses and just lip oils recently. This is from the brand Big Popa Gloss. This is in the shade Sweet Pea. Oh, this is, no, this is just Big Popa Gloss. That's the name of the actual item in the shade Sweet Pea. This is from Undone Beauty. And it's just a big lip gloss. I love the huge doe foot applicator. I think, ooh, that smells so good. I got two foundations. This Morphe Glow Center Hydrated Tinted Moisturizer that has SPF 30. I love tinted moisturizers for the summer, when we go out on the boat, to the beach, and stuff like that. I also got this foundation from Ulta Beauty. This is their Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. I've never tried this before, and it looked really interesting. So. I thought I'd pick that up as well. And then uh, this is in the completely wrong shade and I definitely am gonna have to go to Ulta. This might, like this could probably work for like my summer shade. <laughs> like real deep into the summer. <laughs> but this is the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. This one's in the shade Dark and I swear I didn't mean to grab Dark. I think I meant to grab Warm. It's, it's definitely lighter than this, but I think they were in the wrong place. So when I went to grab it, I think I grabbed dark and not the actual shade that I wanted. But anyway, it's a cream bronzer and it looks like this. This is super dark and definitely not my color. It'd be great for contouring, but again, it's a little too dark. Like I think it would look really muddy on my skin if I tried to contour with it, let alone bronze, so. I got another cream bronzer though, and this is from e.l.f. This is their putty bronzer. This is in Golden Days, and this is similar to the shade that I tried to grab in the other Makeup Revolution one and didn't, but this is like a perfect shade for me for just any time of the year, I think, as a bronzer, so I'm very excited to dive into that. So yeah, that is what I picked up from Ulta. A couple of these items I actually didn't get during Christmas. I got them, oop, I got them right before Christmas, um, but I thought I would share them with you guys because it was kind of for Christmas because I was going up to Illinois and I didn't have any warm clothes. So I guess it was kind of for Christmas. First things first, I got this button up flannel. I love the colors, the warm tones. This could go great with a lot of different outfits, just as kind of like a throwover. 
because it doesn't get too, too cold for a little bit longer in Florida. So I think that would be great for like windy days and when it gets a little bit cooler and not so much cold. And then I got this blue flannel as well. This is from Hollister. And listen, guys, this is so soft. It's incredible. I felt it and I was like, I need that because it, it really is so soft. So if you are a fan of super soft clothing and you like flannels, I would 100% go to Hollister because this one was super cute. I got this one in a size extra small. I believe I got this one from Paxson. And this one's also in an extra small. This one is also a flannel, but it's kind of like a cropped flannel. And I believe I got this from American Eagle. I did. And I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be, well, A, they were limited on sizes. And B, I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized and not as cropped. So I got it in a size medium as opposed to a size small or extra small, which would be the true fit of it, but a chunky kind of look. So there's that. And then I got this sweater, which is so soft and super warm. But let me tell you this thing, it's not doing it now because I washed it. I didn't wash it before I went to Illinois and I wore it on my car ride home and I looked down and there's a bunch of fuzzies all over my pillow, all over my jacket. And I was like, where are all these fuzzies coming from? Come to find out it was this shirt because I didn't wash it beforehand. So yeah, but this is just a cropped turtleneck sweater. It's so cozy. It will keep you so warm. Highly recommend if you live in cold places. I also got this from American Eagle in the size, in a size extra small. They have a ton of cute sweaters and stuff like that. So I highly recommend American Eagle for sweaters in general. I got this cute set from Victoria's Secret. It is their like, what is it called? Long Johns? I don't know. I think it's their PJs. It is their PJs, but like their Long Johns, I don't know what they're called, but it's just this super cute pajama set. I absolutely love that. I got mine in a size extra small. I have gotten these, I think for the last two years in a row, and they're just my favorite thing to wear at Christmas. I wore them Christmas morning and they're super cozy and super comfortable. And then this stuff I got on Christmas as well. This is the same sweater as the gray one, just in cream. And this one is in a size small and not an extra small. It's the same turtleneck kind of cropped sweater. So cute. And I got this sweater, which was also from American Eagle. This is in an extra small. And it's just a simple cream sweater super lightweight cozy so the last few things are on the more expensive side um i was so excited i literally cried for a couple of these things when i received them because i was just like so in awe and one of them is ring from hell's hellsberg diamonds i think i believe and it is this ring right here let's see if it'll focus It is a rose with a little diamond in the middle. And I actually got earrings for my birthday, I think a year ago. And they are the same rose with a little diamond in the center. I like cried tears because I was just, I love rings and this one was just so beautiful. And yeah, it was some perfumes that I am so excited about. I got some perfumes from the brand Skylar. Skylar is one of my favorite perfume brands ever because they're clean perfumes and they all smell incredible. And I actually got one of these candles from Skylar Clean Beauty. I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. And this is in the sh shade. This is in the scent Vanilla Sky and it is one of my favorite perfume scents that she has. Guys, if you have not smelt Vanilla Sky, she has a sample pack of a lot. Of, I think her 
top perfumes, if not all of her perfumes. I'm not really sure. It's a sample set. You should 100% check it out because if you have not smelt Vanilla Sky, you need to because it's incredible. So I got a little candle of it. And then I also got her sample kit, but the big versions of her samples because I love all of them and I couldn't decide. One of them is Vanilla Sky, which I've already dove into, of course, because I'm obsessed with it. This one, and they all have such cute packaging too. And then I got Capri Summer. But Salt Air, which is, this was another one of my favorites. And then this one, which is another one of my favorites. This is Isle Escape. And then last but not least, this is Pink Canyon. Highly recommend Skylar um, perfumes because they're just incredible and they're clean. So if you're pregnant or just really sensitive to scents, I would definitely check those out. No, this is not sponsored. I just really like her products. Next item is, I was <laughs> so excited to get this, but also super shocked because I was just, Clearly I have no words. I was just, I've never had something like this before and just was super grateful for it and just, yeah. This is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma perfume. And guys, it smells so incredible. But also let me show you this because this is just, I have no words for this. Is this not the most stunning bottle of perfume you have ever seen? Like this is just absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And not only is it stunning and gorgeous and beautiful, it smells absolutely incredible and lasts forever on your skin. Anyway, that took probably forever and a lot of your time, but that is my haul for what I got for Christmas. And I'm so grateful for all of it. Now onto the rest of the vlog. I am, it's 6.30 right now, but I think I'm gonna make some dinner and obviously clean up a little bit. I'm gonna make some dinner and I had one of these when I was in Illinois. These are, I didn't think, I, I don't think I had this specific one, but I did have one of these and they were so good. This is the Alpha Pot Pie. This is plant-based and this is in beefy cheddar. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited to try this. I don't think this is the one that I tried, but they have four different ones. They have chicken pesto which looks incredible. Chicken veggie, which I'm pretty sure the chicken veggie was the one that I had before. It was either that or the beef and cheddar. Oh gosh, I'm spilling things everywhere. Everything's falling. <laughs> and then this one, which is the buffalo chicken, which also looks incredible. So I don't know which one I'm gonna have tonight, but I know that I want one of those. So I'm gonna do a quick pickup of my house <laughs> real quick because there's stuff everywhere from Christmas. And then I'm gonna pop one of those in the oven or should I pop one of those in the oven first? Never mind. Maybe I'll go with the chicken pesto first because I know for sure I haven't tried this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be scandalous and try and do this in the air fryer. pickup of my house because there's stuff everywhere. Cue the cleaning montage.
timer just went off. We're gonna see how it turned out in the air fryer. It looks pretty good. It looks like it's done. Cool. Let's hope the middle of it isn't frozen because the outside of it looks great. I'm excited to try it. Crust is good. I'm gonna try that. Okay, this is gonna be incredible just based on that little that I got. It says this is meat, dairy, and palm oil free and 100% plant protein. So if you are looking for a dairy alternative, a meat alternative, this is really good. It's also an excellent source of iron and 13 grams of protein. So yeah, I definitely recommend. I personally think this is incredible. I'm gonna eat my dinner. And I think I'm, I want to watch a show. I'm not sure what show I want to watch. If you have any show recommendations, leave them down below because I would love to hear them because I'm looking for a new show. Good morning, guys. It, as you can probably hear from behind me, it is raining. Um, so it's been a bit of a gloomy morning, but it is the next day and it is New Year's Eve. So I <clears throat> have quite a few things to do today. Um, and I also need to, because <laughs> the curls clearly didn't last, I think it's there's multiple reasons why a as you can see my hair is super greasy on top and I think the product that I put in it to detangle it made it super heavy um, and very greasy in general which is why the curls didn't hold <clears throat> and then um, also I just think my hair wasn't maybe not dry enough but I definitely think the product was part of the reason that um, the curls didn't hold for very long. I think I might take a shower first. I was gonna go for like a walk this morning, but clearly it's raining. So I think I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee out here on the balcony for a little Okay, so I have actually just dumped my coffee because it was not good. The creamer that I used, I think is unsweetened. And although like the initial taste was okay it like got really bitter really fast so 
I dumped that out and I went to go clean out my purse and just everything from Christmas and stuff and figured out that I still had a lot of gift cards to Target um, left over and I also had like a bunch of gift cards to Starbucks as well and there's a Starbucks in my Target. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a shower real quick and while my hair is air drying a little bit to give it like some time so that way I'm not using like a ton of heat on it but I don't have any heat protectant I don't have any like really good hair products and stuff like that and I've been wanting to get some so I feel like now that I have gift cards to Target and stuff now would be a good time okay I changed my mind I think I'm just gonna run to Target first because there's actually a shampoo and conditioner that I wanted to get my mom had it and I tried it while we were in Illinois because I forgot to bring mine and I actually really liked it so I kind of want to try it for myself so and I'm, I believe it's at Target I'm just going to throw a jacket on over this even though it's humid outside I don't want to get cold in the store so I'm going to throw a jacket on and then we're going to go I'm very excited I'll show you guys what I get I got my sugar hookie latte. I barely drank any of it because I was talking to my mom while also trying to pick things out and read stuff. Still need to take a shower and don't mind the second head that I have forming on my, well, head. But I need to take a shower and, um, do my hair, do my makeup. I just got my Chipotle. Thankfully, there was literally nobody in there and I was in and out in less than probably, I would say three minutes. I was in and out in like three minutes. The doors, I don't know what it is about the doors at my like local Chipotle, but they're so hard to open. Like I get embarrassed every time I go in and out of that Chipotle because I don't know if it's just the door that I use or what, but like it, it takes a lot of strength from me to get them open. I don't know if it's like push, pull, I don't know. I don't know. It just takes not getting in necessarily, but like getting out is it's it's kind of embarrassing i'm not gonna lie it is slightly embarrassing trying to get out of the chipotle so okay i just made it home and back into my house yes i'm out of breath not just because i walked up the stairs i just unloaded the dishwasher super fast so i could film this anyway so let's get into our turret haul Also, I don't know if you guys really care about what I got at Chipotle, but I just thought I would share just in case you guys were looking to try something new or I don't know, you just have never been and want to try it and don't know what to get. 
I get kind of like a veggie bowl. I get doesn't say on here, but I get white rice with black beans and then the sofritas for my meat. And then I get corn, guac, lettuce, and pico de gallo. Sometimes I get the veggie stuff with it, like the veggie bowl and the sofritas. But this time I just got the sofritas. So I'm really excited to eat that. Now on to the good stuff, what I got from Target. So I got the Monday shampoo and conditioner. I used this in Illinois. My mom had it. She had actually this exact same one, the smooth one. This is for frizzy and dull hair. And I got the big bottles because the little ones, they had the smooth shampoo, but no smooth conditioner. So the only way I could get both was to get the big ones. This is what they look like. Like adorable packaging. I absolutely love them. And they have so many of them. They have volumizing, they have moisturizing, they have gentle, if you have gentle hair, gentle scalp, anything like that. I almost did get the gentle one. And then the other hair product that I got, I don't think I got any other hair products other than that, was this right here. I've been looking for a heat protectant since I got my um, hair dryer and just a detangler and stuff like that because my other one ran out. This, the Monday shampoo was in the clean section of Target, so in case you were wondering. Um, it is SLS free, paraben free, and cruelty free. This is from the brand Raw Sugar. It was also in the clean for the clean section of Target. This is their Multi-Miracle Leave-In Conditioner and Heat Protectant. It's lightweight, silky hydration, help detangle, reduce damage, tame frizz, and soften split ends. Also free of sulfates, parabens, color safe, and vegan. It is also cruelty free. Um, so this is like an all-in-one leave-in conditioner, heat protectant, tames frizz, softens split ends, reduces damage, helps detangle. So it was like all in one. And it wasn't that expensive either. It was like $8. And I feel like this is a good amount of product. Six fluid ounces for $8, I feel like is a pretty good deal. I just hope it, it works. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna test that out today. So I'll share this, cause this one's the boring one because you guys already saw this earlier in the video when I got my, what I got for Christmas portion of this video. This is the Revolution Cream Bronzer. I got it in the shade dark and I got the wrong shade. And what shade I meant to get was light because the light shade is still pretty dark. So while I was at Target, I just went ahead and picked it up instead of going all the way to Ult. And then this one's kind of a repeat, but not. I got the Putty Bronzer from e.l.f. and I saw this and thought this shade was really beautiful, um, especially for like winter and stuff like that. They had a lot of cute shades. This is their Putty Blush, and this is in the shade Tahiti. So I wanted to test out the blush as well. I love cream blushes. And then I got two eye products. I haven't tried any mascaras or anything from Morphe, so I was very curious to try this out. This is their Wink and Wow Nourishing Mascara, and I thought that was super interesting. It says, your lashes will naturally feel the length, definition, and love thanks to conditioning pathanol. Soothing vitamin E plus nourishing niacinamide and castor seed oil. And then I got this because I'm during my getting ready for New Year's Eve, I am going to, I think I'm going to do silver eyeliner, but I got this blue and silver one because they came in packs of two. This is from ColourPop. Um, there was a gold one too, and I thought about doing gold, but... I decided against it because it came with a pink one and I knew I would never wear the pink eyeliner, but my mom loves blue eyeliner. So I would just take the silver one and I'd give her the blue one. So she was all for it when I was talking to her on Target. <laughs> but anyway, I think that is it for my Target haul. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching my what I got for Christmas video slash kind of weekend vlog. If you guys like these types of videos, the kind of chill 
sit down vibes and vlog style videos instead of like an actual sit down video, comment that down below. Also comment down below what your favorite thing that you got for Christmas was or the favorite gift that you gave for Christmas. Don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to follow me on all the rest of my social medias at mrose.10. And if you want to see me test out majority of these products and some of the products that I mentioned in my what I got for Christmas video, go ahead and check out my getting ready for New Year's Eve video. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.